Hey beard lovers, it's the beginning of the school year again. Remember to pack your notebook and some pens and pencils. I'd bring your own food. School food? No way. Mm -mm. I hope Mr. Carlson didn't have a bad summer. He gets in such bad moods. Well, see you at school. Oh wait, that's right. I'm 30. I'm going to the beach. It's raining. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> I keep forgetting that I'm 30. When you're out of school and you're an adult, you can do whatever you want. It's like summer 365 days a year. You can do whatever you want! Except when it's raining like today. Or when it's heartbreakingly cold seven months out of the year like in Chicago. Or when you're not independently wealthy and you have to have a job for money. Or you have to raise a family. That last one doesn't apply to me. Thank goodness I'm alone! Feeling lonely? Start a family. Those people are obligated to love you. But all sadness aside, if you're starting school, here's some tips from someone who has experienced it all. I mean all of it. We were doing a trust fall in eighth grade and the person falling elbowed me in the eye and I had to have surgery. It was horribly painful. I still see double when I look up. You can tell. One eye actually goes higher than the other. Maybe you can't tell, it's subtle. Two eagles! Oh, that was just one. Still double glad I punched him, though. Tip one, avoiding bullies. Run. RUN! Tip two, talking to girls. Run. RUN! That's what I did. If you're a girl, don't just talk to the good-looking popular kid. He's probably a jerk. Look for the kid who's running. You might want to wear sneakers to catch up to them. Also, that funny guy that's your friend in study hall, he's not your friend. He wants to be your boyfriend. Also, for both genders in study hall, if you have a computer or access to one, you should bring headphones and watch Wheezy Waiter. When you finish your studies... Just kidding. Gym class. Avoid running as much as possible. You are gonna need your energy. Also, remember, high school popularity has less relevance and it's more fleeting than anything. And if you are one of the popular kids, Oh my, oh my god, could you sign my yearbook? Just a second. I couldn't find it, but just sign my hand. Just... Oh, 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 my friends are gonna be so jealous! Oh, that's right, I'm 30! And I smudged it. Seriously, someday you'll grow up and none of that will matter at all. You'll get to own your own new couch! Wow! And you can be the person you want to be and surround yourself with people who won't bother you if you are being the person you want to be. I found a great group of good-looking people who allow me to be who I am. My clones! I hate you! Well, except for Revenge Clone. Are you still alive? Yes. I have a friend who's exactly what he wants to be, dull and boring. That's Ty the regular guy. If you don't know who that is, that means you're new to my channel. A while ago I had this micro show within my own show called Ty the regular guy. There's 16 episodes and they're each about 20 whopping seconds long. You can click here to go to the playlist to watch all of them and catch up because I'm about to show the new episode. We last saw Ty on the run from the cops leaving my apartment in disguise. Here's the beginning of the riveting season three of Ty the regular guy. I'm just a regular guy. Oh, he could have fallen down those stairs. Tune in next Tuesday for the next episode of Ty the Regular Guy. And again, click here to watch the playlist to catch up. Things do actually happen. Stay in school. And if you're an adult, you've learned all you can learn. No hope for you anymore. <laughs>